what's up everybody it's your boy prof Joff, and we are back again with another video this is a video from tears i didn't mention that shit yeah it's a video from tears anyway this is our goats op um let's think about it let's think about it before we start the video okay i know that mountain goats can go up uh they're like mountain goats are like climbers mountain climbers on steroids and some other physical enhancing injections like those motherfuckers can climb like this and it's insane that's bullshit that's cheating it is bullshit they eat grass and shit you can milk them they have pretty hard heads they're not extinct there's wild goats domesticated goats my right, goats are cool we had a goat when i was little and I used to take that shit to the... So, in my village, when I was... Okay. Most... Uh, I won't explain to in depth. Anyway, we had a goat. And uh, every day, we would take the goat to the goat person in the village. We had a goat person. Basically, it's a dude that takes all the goats from the village and goes around the village. So, they eat grass and, you know, do their cardio of the day. And then, we take the goat back during the night. You know, make that shit. Yeah, normal shit. Anyway, that, that shit, uh, uh, one bad thing about goats, they shit, they shit a lot, and it's like little balls, like gold, goats, shit, shit balls, it's very annoying, that's a big minus, B plus, Sponsored by Wix. I don't know, I don't know much about goats, as you've noticed, I don't know much about goats. No way. Okay, hear me out. I bet a lot of you are like, really? A video on goats? You're running out of ideas, huh? I mean, I know goats have like, insane, you know, fucking bashing power, but a fucking cow? A thousand bull, right? That was just a cow. Oh, it's a fucking... Is it a bull? Can't tell. It's okay, cow. hear me out. I bet a lot of you are like, really? A video on goats? You're running out of ideas, huh? No, absolutely not. The guild that goats belong to, Caprone, is the guild that developed some of the best equipment in the game, including some best-in-slot headgear. <laughs> they are excellent one-on-one -on -one duelists, often Jesus. being able to defeat opponents that would squash them <laughs> if not for their special abilities and excellent PvP techniques. First, their special abilities. Now, not all of these are directly combat-related, but all of them are awesome. For example, they're absurdly... Oh, their eyes are unique. They have the little... You know, their, their eyes are weird. They're pretty cool, but they're like unique as fuck. Effective climbing ability. Uh, look look, so at, look at this motherfucker. How? 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 I, uh, climbing ability. Cheats. So when trying to spec into the climbing skill tree, you generally want to pick abilities like hooks, claws, cling pads, Prehensile tails or something like that. Yo, Cap for all you that think that you can get away from a bear on a tree, look at this black bear. I just want you to look at this shit. Hooks, claws, cling pads, prehensile tails, or something like that. Good luck with that shit, Caprons brother. have none of this. Honestly, I don't know how, but they've managed to spec into some pretty high-level climbing abilities without wasting any evolution points on the classic climbing perks. Cheats. It really is something special. Their hooves are perfect for digging into mountainsides, and their slender form allows them to balance in places that other players would have Ooh, no way of getting to. Form. So now, this doesn't mean that they're completely safe from fall damage. Climbing Oof. as a movement option in the mountain servers will always be risky, Oof. and personally, I'd opt for a flying build if I were to choose that at my home server. But Caprons definitely have the best mid-weight mammal build for the job. Their special hooves negate the mobility penalty that other players, such as the ones hunting them, incur. So as long as they stay alert and don't get ambushed, they should have no trouble evading other ground-based predator builds. Another ability that they have when it comes to predator evasion is their eyes. Weird there are eyes. quite a few different eye options you can choose when you're creating your character. For example, if you're playing as an ambush predator... Okay, 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 okay. What is this? What is the bottom left one? <laughs> For example, if you're playing as an ambush predator, you probably want vertical slits, since this grants an accuracy bonus. Or if you're mostly active at night, you probably want pupils as large as possible. That way you don't incur the accuracy debuff from the darkness. Or if you're a cuttlefish, you probably want squiggly lines for pupils, because... Honestly, I don't know why they have this. <laughs> anyway, goats opted for a horizontal pupil, which gives them a much wider field of view. 
letting them see enemies that are approaching from behind. Their they basically have a Byakugan. Their eyes also have the ability to rotate in their head, so that they can maintain surveillance even when they tilt their head down to graze. Okay, now for their main combat ability. Caprons have an extremely powerful defensive ability called Cranial Cushion. Yo bro, run! This ability gives them near total immunity to blunt force damage, as long as they block the incoming attack with their head. Attacks that would one-shot most players can be shrugged off by Caprons, allowing them to fend off more powerful builds, and sometimes even outright win duels with them. Of course, this does have its limitations. Like I said before, this only defends them from attacks from the front. They're still completely vulnerable from the sides. So if your opponent manages to cross you up and get around your defense, oh, you're quite vulnerable. This also leaves you highly vulnerable to team strategies, as oh. it's impossible to block attacks from two different directions at once. It also does eventually run out, so know your limits before you challenge another Capron player to oh, a fuck. duel. But overall, super useful passive ability to have, and definitely elevates their viability in the current meta a bit. But what really gets them into high tier is their signature move, Skull Bash. Most herbivore mains stick with the standard charge attack to deal damage. Some also spec into Kick, which is really good since a lot of the smaller rushdown players what tend to fuck? focus their attacks on the hindquarters. But for maximum damage against a single target, the Capron's special technique is necessary. You have Jeez. to briefly switch to the upright stance before initiating the attack. So obviously, oi, what is wrong with your dumbass? You have to briefly switch to the upright stance before. What the fuck are you doing, brother? Listen, listen, listen. If you are fighting a goat, do not present your head to the goat. Get up. Grab it by the neck, fucking grab it by the body, and suplex that bitch, okay? Don't fucking try and headbutt a goat, even with a helmet. Like, come on, brother. Initiating the attack. So obviously, oh, that dude was dead as left. fuck. But if you land the that hit, dude it dead. can be absolutely devastating. I think Caprons average around B tier, with a few low tier and a few high tier builds. For example, I definitely put the faint I, I called the B tier though, didn't I? goat into F tier, since fainting is perhaps one of the worst Jesus. defensive moves in the game. I'd also rate the domestic sheep build as F tier, due to its absolutely abysmal intelligence. And I do mean abysmal. Sheep have such low intelligence that they can even be defeated by bramble bushes. If you're a herbivore player and you get beat by your prey, you should probably choose a new main. As for high tier caverns, <laughs> first there's the mountain goat which has the highest mobility of any build in the mountain server. Next, there's the Bighorn Sheep, which has the highest power stat of any cavern, and is the one known for pioneering the yeah, Skullbacks. These things are scary. Last, there's the Ibex, another excellent duelist build that trades a little bit of power for increased range on its horn hitbox. So hopefully now you understand that caverns like Goats and Sheep deserve just as much respect as other high-tier builds, oh, sheep and in fact are some of the best PvP builds in the game, and have slipped under the radar for far too long. It's easy to slip under the radar and not reach your full potential if other people don't have somewhere Add to go time. to see a showcase of your best stuff. Add time, okay. And the best way to showcase yourself is by creating a website. I recently did this myself using Wix, and honestly, I... Oh, okay, 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 okay. Anyway, this was our goats OP. Let me know what your opinion was before the video, and did your opinion change after the video, okay? I want to see what y'all expected of the goats. Did y'all think they are little shitters? The shit, you know. Circle. Okay. Let me know what y'all think. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you next time. But have a nice fucking day.